Jimmy Adams and Michael Carberry both made up for the lost time on the second day of Hampshire's LV County Championship match with Leicestershire by putting on 253 runs for the first wicket. Both men scoring hundreds, Adams a brilliant double to give their side the chance of posting an important victory on the final day at the Aegeus Bowl. There had been only 10 overs of play on day two, and so the penultimate one saw the home side resume their first innings on 48 without loss, still 255 runs behind their opponents. Both Carberry and Adams had made a start, although it was the former who played the more expansive shots as play got underway on time on this occasion. The former England man took full advantage of batting against this mostly inexperienced Leicestershire attack. Adams had started the day on 29 and, after being dropped twice, was at his half-century in the day's 15th over. A couple of jig and nake taking the Hampshire skipper to a 50 for the eighth time this summer in Championship cricket. He'd needed 63 balls to get there, from which he'd hit 10 boundaries, the majority of them on the previous evening. Carberry was raising his bat in Nake's next over, an edge bringing him his seventh boundary of the morning and his most fortuitous one as he got to his 50 of 87 deliveries. The partnership between these two already well into three figures. You had to feel a little sorry for Leicestershire, a side which has by now completely forgotten how to win games in this competition. There is no doubt that they have some talent in their ranks, their problem for so long being that they simply can't sustain any pressure on their opponents. There are likely to be some changes both on and off the field at Grace Road during the winter months. For now, though, they were being put to the sword by Adams and Carberry, who had the total at 189 without loss by lunch. Adams came out for the afternoon on 94, and 10 minutes into the session, he at last converted one of his many starts this summer into 100. It was his first of the year. Hence the celebration after he reached three figures off 132 balls with his 18th four. His partner was very happy for him too. Carberry had moved on to 81 by the time the interval was taken and he was soon getting ready to celebrate his third century of the four-day campaign, although he was given a life on 94. A quickly taken single took him to his ton of 185 deliveries, an innings containing 16 boundaries, before he took in the applause off screen. It was now like watching men versus boys with both batsmen playing plenty of shots, something that they had done throughout a partnership which had moved on to 253 with the two managing a remarkable 41 fours between them. That's 164 runs in boundaries alone from the opening pair. So it must have been with some relief when Leicestershire finally broke through in the 61st over as Carberry on 110 edged a cut off Nake behind. That, though, was the only wicket in the first two sessions of the day. Adams marched on, sweeping Nake for a six. While he and new man Will Smith had their side ahead just after the tea break, with nine wickets still in hand. These two spent 15 overs together in adding 55 more runs to now leave Hampshire firmly in control. Adams now holding all the aces as his side looked to complete an innings victory. Over the years, Adams has shown that he is a very tough nut to crack once he gets himself in. This season has been slightly different for him, but all of his disappointments were being shelved now as he eased to his 150 off his 211th delivery. With so much time lost on day two, this was the perfect innings to produce for his team. One which knows that a win here will give them a really good chance of earning the promotion they so crave. With the total on 308, Smith was out for 30, top edging a shovel off Alex Wyatt into the hands of Atty Shake, who had a mixed day with the ball in his first match for the county. Nake too was expensive, his 28 overs during the day costing him 146 runs at more than 5 per over. Adams, now seeing the ball as if it was the size of a planet, certainly had no problems against the off-spinner. The Hampshire skipper was eyeing up a double hundred. He was on 169 when he lost James Vince at the other end for 16. Rob Taylor finding the edge of his bat to leave Nile O'Brien to do the rest behind the stumps. That didn't upset Adams' rhythm, however, and next over... He clipped Wyatt for his second six in what was becoming a mammoth knock. 
Quick runs were now the order of the day for Hampshire and Liam Dawson played his part. This extraordinary stroke also carrying the distance. Indeed, all the shots were coming out now as Hampshire tried to get as far ahead as possible by the close. Adams was now just one shot away from his double ton. But before he got there, he said goodbye to Dawson, who, on a runner ball 26, edged Nate to Greg Smith with a total at 397 for four. Hampshire easily picked up maximum bonus points and then Adams cut Shake away for the runs he needed to get to his 200. A wonderful effort from the 33-year-old. He'd got there off 278 balls in six hours and had struck 29 fours and two sixes. It was an innings which showed that he is a man still very hungry for runs. A third maximum soon followed in an over from Nake that cost 20 runs as Adams eventually moved on to 231 after hitting 34 fours and three sixes. He fell after batting for 97 overs, his last 31 runs coming off just 10 balls. Shake finally having something to celebrate in his 16th over as the left-hander found Smith to leave with his side on 433 for five. That put Hampshire 130 runs to the good, but they wanted more. In their pursuit of rapid runs, Sean Irvin turned a ball from Shake to deep square after making 17, leaving it to Chris Wood and Adam Wheater to throw the bat at everything they could. In only 20 deliveries, they added 35, the Leicester attack, probably praying that this day would soon be at an end. They had already gone for more than 400 runs in it. Charlie Shrek did at least bowl Wheater, who chopped the ball back onto his stumps. And Shake grabbed a third for figures of three for 114 from 20 overs, as Matt Coles hauled out to Josh Cobb of the final delivery of the day. Hampshire ended it on 497 for eight, which gives them a handy lead of 194, with three sessions of this match remaining. Adams will have the night to decide whether to throw the bat some more for a few overs, but it is really now down to the bowlers to see if they can see their team home for an all-important win, which will have the likes of Essex and Kent cursing.